What's going on YouTube? Titan Anderson here. You can't spell Titans without putting that T-A in it. Hey man, live in, in 4K, fellas. I just want to say thank you to all the new likes, comments, subscribers, everything like that. It's been a lot of fun, man, and it's only going to be that much more fun once we head into the season and once the new matting comes out. That being said, Tyler Boyd has officially been uh, named the, the starting slot receiver for the Tennessee Titans. Um, I want to know what you guys are all thinking about it because, like I said, it's time to start unloading content at a fun rate, uh, going over everything with you guys. Anything I hear about, we're talking about it because I feel like it, and I want to. I want you guys involved. So I want to know what you guys are thinking about that. Obviously, it's pretty much what we expected. Uh, what do you guys feel with Traylon Burks? Does that mean he's going to be on the outs? Should he get traded? What would do you think is a fair trade price for him? Because again, he's on his last year, so we can keep him for this year and go all out and try to, you know, or you can trade him, try to get something for next year and continue this building process with the core guys that we got already. Me personally, I'm going to be honest, I'm okay with either or. I'd be okay with keeping him for this final year. Uh, but if we trade him, I want to at least get a fourth. Um, is that possible? I, I don't I don't know. I don't know what his value is or anything like that. I do know that when he's healthy, he is a pretty good player. He really is. I mean, he can go down the field and stretch the field. Uh, at the end of the last year, he was really, uh, you know, coming into his own with Will Levis kind of working even inside and outside of the slot, moving and grooving from all over. Uh, it's just I think because we have Kyle Phillips, I think because we still have NWI, I think uh, Traylon Burks is going to be traded if I were to have to put my, you know, put money on it. Uh, I think it's more uh, probably 70-30 that he gets traded. Um, and it's, you know, it's not the end of the world if he does, you know, he ha he's had injury history. He's had a lot of problems. Uh, but that being says, we're, that being said, we're getting a guy in Tyler Boyd. That's going to start, start right away in the slot. He's going to be our third receiver and he's going to be able to do a lot of different things. Um, you know, him and Brian Callahan already have that chemistry. The offensive line with Brian Callahan's dad, Bill, Bill Callahan looks like it's already going to get up and get, get, uh, progressing in the right direction because we've been struggling with the offensive line. We've got the guru running that offensive line, you know, with, uh, Bill Callahan's going to make sure everybody's doing their job correctly. So I'm, I'm excited and happy about that. Um, uh, but with Tyler Boyd, we're really going to need, uh, we're really going to need Tyler Boyd to really step up and catch them footballs and be on the football field. Tyler Boyd is somebody who's put up, uh, what, what is it, two or three 1,000-yard um, seasons. He's done it before. He's no slouch. He's no bum. He is a legitimate uh, receiver in this league that can make plays. And I'll tell you what, uh, God forbid, you know, knock on wood, it doesn't happen. Um, you know, one of our, you know, Calvin Ridley or D-Hop goes down. He's an amazing backup to, to come in and be, you know, he can he can fill in perfectly fine. And, and again, um, I think Kyle Phillips will be perfectly fine running the number one slot guy. So I think uh, we've got options. And again, at NWI, we can use everywhere. He's reliable, damn, re damn reliable. Yes, sir. He, he is a pro on and off the field. So I'm happy about that. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy because it's like, this is what we wanted, you guys. We wanted to a lot of we wanted to give Willie Rocket, you know, Will Levis a real uh, opportunity to shine. You know, last year we saw so many glimpses, but we saw so many times where it's just okay. He's got no time to throw. Okay, yeah, this guy, his guys just aren't getting open half the time, even when he does have some time to throw. Um, and now he doesn't just have D Hop; he has DeAndre Hopkins. Um, he's got Calvin Ridley. He's got Tyler Boyd, and he still has Traylon Burks. Right, as of now, he has Kyle Phillips, he's got NWI, he's got Chigozai McConkwell, aka Chiggy Chiggy Chiggy. You better catch them balls. If you don't catch them balls, Josh Wiley's still in your spot. <laughs> uh, Josh Wiley got to stay healthy, so we're going to be banking on them too. Uh, being the one and two, uh, I guess. I'm hoping Chig has been working on catching footballs because we can't afford him to be dropping balls all day long again. Uh, but yeah, Tyler Boyd coming in. I don't know what everybody's thinking about it. Uh, being um, already named the starting slot receiver for the Titans, which was already expected. Uh, and it doesn't mean that he's only going to be in the slot. I expect him to be moved around. I expect all of them to be moved around. But you're going to see Tyler Boyd mainly being in the slot, handling those reps for the Tennessee Titans into Tom Blue. Will Levis is going to go into this season with, um, you know, Calvin Ridley, who's, you know, freshly paid four-year deal you know not, not oh, north of 90 million uh it's crazy and then you bring in uh, tyler boyd one year four and a half million 
uh, is what it can go up to or whatever. That's solid. That's insane value, insane value. Um, you know, you got D Hop still, which it maybe is last year. Uh, next year, I can almost guarantee you. Uh, you know, we're going to be taking offensive line probably, but a receiver will be one of the first two picks for next season in the draft. There's no debating that in my mind. It just doesn't. We're going to need to do that, and maybe even bring somebody else in in free agency as well. But um, you know. Calvin Ridley's going to be the go-to guy in this offense. Um, Tyler Boyd's going to help so much, man. He's going to have so much clearance. Like, over in uh, over at the Bengals, he, he was in a similar situation. Great quarterback, Joe Burrow. Uh, and then he's got two guys in front of him that are just, you know, dogs. T. Higgins and, and Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase being the better of the two, in my opinion. And um, over here, you got Calvin Ridley and D-Hop. So it's like, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy, the depth of the value uh, and uh, the the um, this offense going into this 2024-25 season is going to be special. I really feel like, you know, we haven't scored 30 in, I, I joke around and say 14 years, but realistically, we really haven't scored it in, uh, you know, two years worth of calendar time, and it's just, it's ridiculous. It's not right. It's not right. That's pathetic. It's not fair to the defense. It's not fair to anybody. The, 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 you got to score, bro. You got to score. And, and uh, you know, we got away from the Derrick Henry kind of, prehistoric uh, approach that we that we got stuck into we didn't even give Derrick Henry a real opportunity to shine in in the in the in the receiving game and he was really good at it screen passes catches in the flats he every time he caught it it seemed like he's gonna make a play it's crazy uh so again um you know best of luck to Derrick Henry man the king of the two-tone blue forever uh, but we got King of the Trenches now, man. Trench King, J.C. Latham. He's going to help out that offensive line as well. Big boy, ready to block, hold it down for those wide receivers to go and do what they got to do. Again, J.C. Latham is going to be there with last year's first-round pick, Peter Skaronsky. Uh, we brought in Lloyd Cushenberry to replace tiny-ass Aaron Brewer. And then we still have Brunskull. Uh, we'll see what we do with him. NPF, it looks like those might be the right guard and right tackle. Respectfully, we will see. Um, Billy Boy, Billy Callahan will, will figure that one out and that'll be entertaining um in its own right but i'm just excited bro like everybody was like is it gonna be is it gonna be tyler boyd is it gonna be um um uh what's the dude from the jacks I, i'm getting uh i can't think of his name right now but y'all know you, you get who i'm saying um and it's like you know those are the two guys that it was uh coming down to and um i just thought either would have been nice for sure but Tyler Boyd, Brian Callahan, the connection, you know, Tyler Boyd being in that type of offense and already being familiar with that role ish. I, I really think, um, I really think he's going to, he's going to do well. I really think he's going to do well. Um, I, I could really see him scoring five touchdowns and getting between 500 and, and, you know, 650 yards. Uh, and there's no slight. He could get more. He could get less. We'll see, bro. But I just think that he's going to be somebody that's going to be reliable, someone that we can count on, and he's going to be there for us to, uh, you know, to, to win some football games. So Tyler Boyd, Tennessee Titans, starting slot receiver. I want to know what you guys think in the comments section. This is big, big news if you're a Titans fan. The roster is panning out. It looks really great. I'm excited about it. The defense looks good, but that offense looks like, man, we went from prehistoric to, uh, you know what I'm saying, to the, uh, <laughs> oh, man, to some nuclear, you know, Cyclops beams. You know what I'm saying? We ain't playing around. This this offense is just, I mean, we saw glimpses last year. We saw Willie Rocket launching that, you know, launching that rocket down the field. D-Hop doing his thing. D-Hop being unleashed and, and being re-energized and, 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 you know what I'm saying, re-emerging, if you will, because he's got a quarterback who's not scared to give him one-on-one -on -one opportunities, who, a quarterback who could throw 80 yards in pads and lead you on the run and not throw behind you or throw it late. DeAndre Hopkins has been rejuvenated. I really hope, and I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to put this on record right now, I hope D-Hop signs some type of extension. I don't want him to leave. I don't want him to leave after this year. I really don't. I hope I hope he does some type of deal to where, you know, he could sign another two-year option, one-year thing, leave, and he can stay with Will Levis as long as he fucking wants to because that's how highly I think of D-Hop. You know, I, and again, I'm sure that we can work out some type of, you know, deal where it works. Um, but but I don't know about y'all, but D-Hop is, is starting to turn into one of the greater Titans free agents we've ever picked up, and he hasn't even been playing that long for us. But you look at what he did with nobody back there to help him out on the other side respectfully to who we had. Uh, the offensive line, garbage. Coach is garbage. Like, 
<laughs> D-Hop's a true professional, you guys. We're really lucky to have him. And his his uh, ability to be be like a second you know, receiving coach out there uh, is is going to be amazing for all the younger guys, even for Will Levis developing. You saw Will Levis feeling so safe and comfortable throwing him the deep ball last year. I can't wait. Tyler Boyd, starting receiver for the Titans. Tighten up Code Blue Cyclops swag. You can't spell Titans without putting that T-A in it. I love y'all. Let's go. Wow.